Hi, my name is Beth. I work at The Gathering Place. We're a community-based cancer center helping to meet the physical, psychosocial, emotional, and spiritual needs of those touched by cancer. Welcome to another one of our healthy plant-based uh, cooking videos. You know, it's a holiday season, and any time between Thanksgiving and the end of the, the beginning of the new year, it's filled with lots and lots of sweets. Face it, sweets happen. So rather than avoid those treats that we all like, why not try a healthy plant-based dessert? Today I'm here to show you how easy it is to make a 30-minute no-bake apple walnut tort. It's one of our favorite recipes in our healthy plant-based cooking classes. We're going to start with our crust. Three ingredients here, well actually four today because I'm going to mix some pecans, but you can use a combination of walnuts, which are a healthy omega-3 that we need for our immune system and health, heart health, as well as some medjool dates. These are a Turkish date. They're a little bit on the sweet side, so we don't have to add any sugar or anything else to the crust. I want to make sure I remove the seed at the end and the pit inside. So what I've done is I've taken a handful of walnuts, pecans, and I make sure I toast those before I put them in to help pull out that nice flavor and a little bit of sea salt. And I'm going to put that in my food processor and I grind it up just until I get to the point where I can hold that together without falling apart. Now, you want to make sure it sticks together, but you don't want to make it too pasty. So you want it a little bit crumbly, and I'm going to take that crust, take those ingredients, and just put that into my pie pan. I'm going to press it firmly against the edges. I put that in my refrigerator and let it chill for about 30 minutes. It's during that time while it's chilling, I go over, take my apples. Now you can use any type of apple that you would normally use for apple pie. This time of year I like to combine a little red and green together. I make sure I keep the skin on because that way I'm going to get a little bit more fiber than I would if I peeled the apples. So I'm using a gala and a, a gala and a Granny Smith apple. I slice them up nice and small. I make sure I put them in a little lemon water while I'm slicing so the apples don't turn brown. I use about two to three apples for a, a pie pan. I'm going to put those apples into a saute pan, and the only other thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add some apple juice, I'm going to add some honey, and then my spices. I like to add cinnamon for a lot of reasons. Apple and cinnamon go great together. Plus, cinnamon is great if you're trying to, it, it's good for blood glucose control. So I try to always include a little cinnamon in my healthy plant-based eating. I also am adding some cloves and some allspice. I'm just going to saute that down along with some dried fruit. The recipe calls for raisins, but again, it's you can use any kind of dried fruit. Sometimes I'll use some cranberries, like today I might use dried cherries. But I put that all in together and I saute this for maybe about 10 minutes, just until it softens. I usually taste it and when it's the texture I like, I pull it out with a slotted spoon. I don't like to make them too mushy, but just cook down a little bit. So I take them out with a slotted spoon to I make sure I re all the fluid left is reserved in the saute pan. I, re I reduce the fluid from the apple juice and the cooked apples and spices down to half of what it was. And it's left with a nice little syrup that I use to pour over the apples when I put them into the um, over the crust that I've made. So you can see from start to finish, this whole recipe takes about 30 minutes to make, but you want to let it chill for a good hour. Why? Well, if you don't, the crust doesn't quite stay together the way you want it to, especially if you want it to look real nice for serving. So when I pulled it out a little bit too early because it hadn't chilled, but it still tastes delicious, I have this nice uh, walnut and date crust with apples over the top. Now instead of ice cream over the top or whipped cream, I've made a nice healthy Greek yogurt combination with a little bit of honey and cinnamon and some of the same spices I put in the apples. I'm just going to put a dollop on, cover up my pie mess, and I'm ready to go. Can't beat it. It's a great plant-based, healthy, no added sugar apple walnut tart. Mmm. Recipes on our website. Thanks.